We are less than 50 days from MLB opening day, and the Twins still need a little bit of help in some specific areas. In this video, we are going to be talking about three players that the Twins need to boost their bullpen, right? Probably the weakest spot on the Twins roster right now is the bullpen. So will these three players be enough? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Clem Hawks. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you do want to continue on this conversation or any conversation about the Twins, about baseball, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. I hope you guys do enjoy this kind of content. So let's jump right into the video. I'm talking about the Twins today. I love the Twins. They're my favorite team. And I think they have a really good chance to be good this year. They've supposed to have been good the last three or four years. Last year, they missed the playoffs. They're on an 18-game losing streak in the playoffs. Things are not great, right, in the, in the Twins. And, and it all comes down to they are always good but never good enough, right? And yesterday, we talked about first base being probably the weakest part of the Twins organization right now. They have some guys, but they don't really know where to play them. And if one guy gets hurt, who fills in, right? The bullpen is kind of the same exact situation. They have good guys. Are they good enough, right? Are they stable? Do they have every piece they need? And in this video, the three guys that I'm going to mention, would they be enough to help out in the bullpen, especially with the Twins? So let's first start by answering the question, are the Twins good enough? I say yes, but they need more consistency and another pitcher wouldn't hurt, right? I think that's always the case. That is the case with everybody in the MLB right now. The Phillies, right? They made the World Series. They ran out of pitching. They had to use their relievers in like four of the five or six games because they did not have enough, right? The Twins get in the same groove every single year. Their, their bullpen is okay. A couple guys shine. A couple guys are not great. And they always just kind of falter towards the end, right? They have guys like Duran, who is going to be your all-star, shutdown, closer, flamethrower guy, right? He is the future, I think, in that reliever, closer role. Great. You've got your foundation. You've also got guys like Griffin Jacks, like Lopez, guys who they've gone out and traded for, specifically Lopez, who was their closer in Baltimore. Like, they have good guys. They are right-handed, which is interesting. Then you've got guys like McGill. You've got guys like Emilio Pagan. Who are they going to be, right? Are they going to show up or are they not, right? And then you've got your lefties, Moran and uh, feel bar. That's pretty much it. And that is why we beg the question today, is the bullpen strong enough? Like I said, I think it is, but you need more, right? Or maybe it's not you need more, but it's always good to have more, especially in the Twins case where they don't have another lefty. I've made so many videos this year about the Twins or any other team for that matter, needing another lefty in the bullpen. So these three names you've probably heard before, but we are going to be talking about Matt Moore, Andrew Chafin, and Brad Hand today. All lefty relievers. They are all a little bit older veteran guys. Are any of them good enough for the Twins? Right off the bat, I'm going to say Matt Moore is the only one that I would consider. And we'll go through his stats here in one second. But he's the only guy I would consider out of those three. And we'll get to them as we get to the players and get to the reasons. But I'll just ask the question right now. Is it enough where they are at in their current roster? Like, do you trust Fieldbar, right? Or do you need one of these guys? And is it enough, right? These are the free agent market 50 days out from opening day is not super deep anymore, right? We're talking about the same guys. Are these guys the answer, or will they have to go trade for a lefty reliever? That's kind of the answer. And to that, is anybody going to want to trade a lefty reliever for less value, right? The Twins, I don't think, could give a ton up. They have a lot of potential. They could give up Kepler. They could give up Royce Lewis. They have good guys that they could give up, but do other teams want to give up lefties? That's the question. So answer that all down in the comments if you would like. Let's talk about Matt Moore, though. Like I said, I think this guy is the guy who the Twins should target most of any these three that we've talked about. Matt Moore had a really, really good 2022. He had 2.4 war, which means, you know, two and a half times better, two and a half more wins than a player of about 
that statue uh, where he could fill in and get two and a half more wins. That's good. That pretty much would have, I mean, the Twins, in a normal year, right, when the Twins are actually competitive in the division, that's a di that makes a difference. Five and two on the year means he can win games. Not that the winning is the best pitching stat, but he can win games as a reliever. He had an under two ERA, a 1.95 had 63 games, none started because he's a reliever, had five saves, and over 74 innings, had 83 strikeouts and a whip of 1.18. Whip's a little high, but you can deal with that, right? He's a former All-Star from back in 2013 with the Rays. He kind of bounced around a little bit over the course of the last couple of seasons. He is, uh, what is he, 30? He'll be 34 years old or so uh, this season. He's getting older, right? And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but what's the contract looking like, right? Like, how long are you going to end up with this guy? Is it a one-year deal? Is it a two-year deal? You probably can't go much more than that. He's also pretty cheap, right? He's not the same guy he was in 2018 getting $9 million from Texas. He, his salary was 100000 from Texas in 2022, um, and... I don't know if that's just because of the contract that was structured before, if it was a league minimum paying from somewhere else, but he's definitely not going to be that $10 million mark anymore. And the Twins do have a little bit more money to spend. It does make sense from a financial standpoint. It makes sense from a resurgence standpoint and what he was able to bring. Of course, you know, he had a bad 2021. He didn't play in 2020. He did not have a great 2019. He, I, I don't know if he was hurt or something in 2019, only played two games, so I would guess, but that's not looking really great from past history, except for last year. And I hope that he would be able to get one more year exactly like that out of himself for the Twins. If that's what the Twins decide to go with, he is that lefty veteran. And that's why I think he would make the most sense. Like, even if he doesn't repeat the year that he had last year, even if he was half as good, I think that that is something the Twins would bargain for at a cheaper price because he's a free agent they don't have to trade anything they don't have to like spend a ton of money it makes sense and even if he has a four era in 70 innings with i mean a win or two or three and doesn't lose a ton of games loses one or two games that's something that i think the twins can take especially because they just need to add that next reliever right they need another lefty reliever you can't have Theo Bargo out there the entire time and do everything so to me Matt Moore makes the most sense and that's the guy the only guy of these three that I would even look at uh, I know there's been a ton of other teams looking into him I don't know if the twins have that top spot but that is the guy who I would like to see on the twins it makes a lot of sense and if he can bounce back like he did last year he could be a diamond in the rough for the twins that I mean, a lot of teams are obviously looking at, but if they can steal him, I think that would be huge uh, as they continue to try to chase that AL Central pennant uh, or, or division title um, again, because obviously they didn't get it last year like they should have, and the White Sox being healthy is going to be tough as well. Andrew Chafin is the next guy up. I told you there are... I go back and forth on Andrew Chafin, right? I've made videos about, oh, yes, this team should get him, right? The Cubs, the, the, I don't know who else I've mentioned in, in several other videos, but they need Andrew Chafin. He's a good guy. He does all these things well, and that's true, right? He is. I just don't see him as a fit for the Twins. Even if Matt Moore gave us this guy, right? If he gave us these stats for Andrew Chafin that had in 2022, I, I don't think it's that bad. But I don't know, maybe it's just some personal bias from Andrew Chafin about being with the Tigers last year and I actually had to see him pitch and I don't think he did well or did you know great. Maybe I just don't want that on the Twins, I don't know. But like we've said before, 0.3 war, 2-3 record, 2.83 ERA. He had three saves over 64 games, 57 in a third innings, 67 strikeouts, and a whip of 1.7. He's basically identical to identical to um, Matt Moore. Here's the kicker. He's more expensive. And maybe that's the case with the Twins just because I know they are a little bit tighter on money. They still have, like I think it's like 10 to $15 million maybe. Uh, the last time I checked if my numbers are correct, they still have a ton of room to grow in that area. But do they want to spend $6.5 million, which was his contract last year? He's 32. On, on Andrew Chafin? I don't think so. I don't think that's the answer. 
And like I said, even if Matt Moore gave you these stats, I think you would be okay with it because you're not having to spend a ton of money. And I just don't think Andrew Chafin is the needle pusher for the Twins. I feel like he is more of the feel bar, the Moran kind of player in the Twins organization than he would be as a standout better left-handed reliever in other organizations, right? Maybe that's kind of where I draw the line where I think Matt Moore has that that capability to provide a little bit more. His potential is higher than Andrew Chafin. I don't think it's a bad bet. If the Twins went out and got Andrew Chafin, I don't think I'd be upset. I just don't know if he is the guy compared to Matt Moore. Maybe the potential is just not as high. The last guy I want to talk about briefly is Brad Hand. This is kind of a mm -mm for me. Um, I'll make this pretty quick. He's old. He's 32, just like the other guys. He is not pitched on a team other than the Phillies last year. He played in 55 games since. Okay, well, I'm just kidding. I looked at. Um, I I take that back. I was wrong. He's bounced around. He has not been on a team consistently. Um, he except for 2022. He is just bomb, 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 right? He's just trying to go somewhere else to get a chance, I think. And his numbers have not been great. Uh, you're looking at a 7 ERA in Toronto in his brief 11 games there. He had a 270 ERA with the Mets in 2021, a 359 with Na the Nationals. Last year had a 280 uh, ERA with the Phillies in 45 innings, five saves. I just. There are too many red flags with, with Brad Hand. Um, he is from Minneapolis. I don't know if that means anything whatsoever. I just don't see him doing anything, right? He is older. He's had injury problems. His whip is higher. His not strikeout numbers and innings pitch are lower than the other guys. I just don't see the Twins giving this guy a chance. And again, if this guy, if the Twins went out and said, I got Brad Hand, I'd be like, he's another lefty. Like, they got him. But is he a needle pusher? Absolutely not. And I would much rather have the other two guys than Brad Hand. I just don't see Brad Hand pitching at a major league level again. I don't know. Maybe that, again, is just the bias of, of what he did in Cleveland and and. From just looking at his stats the last couple of years, I think he's just taken a hard nosedive in the wrong direction. And he is not the same guy he was when he was an all-star, even back in 19 and 20, right? So the last two years, he has just kind of whoosh and played with so many different teams. It just doesn't look like he can settle down and pitch on a roster. And with the numbers and the injuries, it just doesn't make sense. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that makes uh, some sense to you guys. I hope that the Twins can go out and get another lefty reliever. And again, if it's not one of these three, they're going to have to go trade somebody. That might be tomorrow's video. We'll see what we can do there. But let me know if one of these three guys makes sense, what you would do. And we'll see you next time. Bye.